Hey, welcome back to the channel. Let's talk about the Incredible Hulk 347. So the importance for this comic is it's a first appearance for Mr. Fix-It. So this is one of uh, Bruce Banner's, um, I guess you can say, uh, personalities because Bruce Banner does have multiple Hulks within him. And this one in particular is more like a mobster. He's uh, not nearly as big as the Hulk, um, like the green version. And he's not as strong as him um, as well, but he is a little bit smarter. So he does have a way of winning his battles with his brains, but he's not the smartest Hulk. So um, he's just a, kind of like a mixture and he is gray and you'll see him throughout um, other comics as well, like uh, Web of Spider-Man. He's been in some of those, the Fantastic Four and... Um, what else he's been in? He's been in like the Avengers. But yeah, he's been in other comics as well. And um, this one right here is just a first appearance for him. So some of the key things for this comic that's coming out on VB is it's a 10,000 edition comic. So there's only going to be 250 secret rares. So that will mean that the price of the secret rare is probably going to be fairly high. Um, I do have it ranked as a E tier but you're going to see much higher prices for it because it is a 10,000 edition comic. So always make sure to look for the notes so you can see the uh, the badges I have placed with it. So it pretty much just informs you that it is a low, low edition comic. So even though it's in the E tier, the prices can be a whole lot higher than that. Um, <clears throat> let's see what else to talk about. If you're not familiar, like who came up with Mr. Fix-It, it is Peter David. And Peter David is a pretty big, incredible Hulk uh, writer. So he's done a lot of work, and he's even created the um, the Spider-Man 2099. Um, one of the Hulks that you might be familiar with is the uh, Incredible Hulk Future Imperfect, which is out on VV. So that's one of Peter David's work. Uh, let's see, what else can we talk about? So there are going to be some VV exclusive variants for this comic. And they are going to be done by the uh, Todd Nock. So Todd Nock did the uh, covers for uh, the VV exclusive variants, and they do look pretty good. And if you're not familiar with him, he's done stuff like um, Spider-Man work and others. And it's like I decided to throw two of his uh, Amazing Spider-Man homage covers. So that's what these two are, and I think they look pretty good. And uh, Let's see, anything else for this? Uh, I can't think of anything else for Mr. Fix-It. Um, he is a, definitely an oddball character, in my opinion. Maybe he'll be in the MCU. Um, I know they were trying to introduce Grey Hulk into one of the movies before, but it never happened. So maybe they have plans to put Mr. Fix-It out, because it is kind of odd that they came out with this. I mean, because Marvel has control over these comics, so it's not VV, it's Marvel. So Marvel decides which comics comes out on VV and they decided to come out with this. So that's why I'm always suspicious, like thinking that they're going to be part of the MCU. So maybe it's going to be down the road. Uh, maybe it's a cartoon or something, uh, which that would probably be a whole lot easier to do than to make a movie or, or TV show out of it. So, um, like a real life TV show. Now um, let's see anything else. Oh yeah. So the tier list, if you notice on the top left, um, I started adding a, um, census as far as how many CGC and CBCS um, circulation uh, comics do we have in circulation that's uh, graded at a 9.0 and higher. So the only reason why I did that was just to kind of give you an idea if you're just wondering because to me anything above 9.0 is a pretty good pickup. Um, now <clears throat> when it comes to like the newest comics like if they're only like 10 years old or 15 years old 9.0s aren't really the best ones to grab, but if that comic is extremely expensive already, um, there's no harm in grabbing a 9.0. So that's the reason why I decided to do 9.0 and higher, just to kind of give you an idea where they're at. And to even go even further with that, I would be uh, happy with a 2.0 for like some of these Silver Age comics. So 9.0, I think, is a just a good basis, just to. Kind of, so at least you have a good understanding on how many of these top uh, grade comics are going around. And that should be it for the tier list. And uh, as always, thank you for watching.